Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about five ways to make money with Procreate and my experience with selling these five things. I'm also going to be drawing this little character that I'm making for a printable alphabet set while I'm talking. And this is an example of something that you can create with Procreate and sell online. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to talk about that I see many artists do and do well with is making portraits. So for example, an illustrated portrait of couples or families that they would sell during Valentine's Day or Christmas, Mother's Day, main holidays. So this is actually something that I started doing uh, this past year around the holidays. I started advertising some couple family and pet portraits on a different Etsy shop that I made. It was really popular and I got uh, a lot of sales really quickly because of the holidays. So this is something that you can do during holidays or year round to make um, a little extra side income. So if you like to draw people or animals and either you have uh, a really stylized way of drawing people or a realistic way or just some way that you can capture the look of each individual person then this is going to be a great way for you to make money. I think Etsy is a really popular place to advertise for couple portraits or family portraits. I have also seen people uh, with Instagram accounts um, advertise there and if you're able to advertise in other social media platforms then that's a great way that you'll be able to get people noticing your art and if you're not going to make an Etsy shop and you want to advertise that you can make uh, portraits for people on let's say like Facebook or Instagram just make sure that you are writing uh, when you're posting the portrait examples that they can contact you for custom portraits. The second thing that I wanted to talk about are clip art and patterns. This is something I really like because it's more on the digital side and something that you can make passive income off of. So let's say that you like to draw animals or you like to draw uh, lots of little flowers and different things. You can make sets of these things and sell them as clip art. Uh, once you've made the design and you list it on your website or an Etsy store, um, people can just purchase it and that's it. You don't have to do anything after that. So it's passive income. Once you make it, you're, you'll just continue making money from it without having to do anything else with that product. So that is an awesome way to make money um, with your Procreate designs and drawings and paintings. Um, for example, about a year ago when I first started on Etsy, my first shop that I started was a clip art shop. I, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do with my shop. I just started making like little sets. Um, when I researched it, I saw that a lot of people were making sets of like 10 or 12 things that were in a similar theme. So I made a list of a bunch of different clip art that I wanted to make a di different theme. So when you're thinking about what to make for these clip art sets, you want to think about what people are going to use them for. So when I buy clip art, I, I like to buy things for holidays because I like to make cards and designs for people to use. Either I make my clip art myself or I purchase some clip art from people. So I've bought like snowflake clip art. Um, floral clip art is really, really popular. And if you're able to make anything with watercolor brushes on Procreate, and that's going to be really, really popular. That's like one of the biggest ones. I can go more into clip art in a different video. Patterns, if you know how to make digital patterns that are seamless, uh, that people can use for 
um, backgrounds or printing. A lot of patterns are used in fabric packaging designs. So let's say you're, you made like a, a clip art set and you have like 10 to 12 items of clip art that are fall themed. So you have pumpkins, leaves, apple cider, just a bunch of little things that make up that set. You can take those individual items and then create a seamless file with them. Uh, when I go into clip art, and make a video about that. I can talk a bit more about patterns and how you can create those. The third thing that I want to talk about is something that I, I've i done the most of. There's kind of two sides of it. They're, they're printables and you can either do digital printables, which is what I like to do. Uh, you can also make physical prints. This is something that I sell in my Etsy shop. You can also sell things like this on Redbubble, Creative Market. Tons of websites are going to be a great way to list your digital prints or physical prints. Um, some examples are invitations. So let's say wedding invites holiday cards, greeting cards. Uh, you can also make wall art. So this is something that I've done too with the art that I've made. Uh, you can take a finished piece and then um, kind of create some mock-ups for it and list them. Uh, you can either keep it as a digital print and say that it's only for digital download, something that the, the person, the customer has to print themselves, or if you want to make a little bit more money from it, but like you're fine with doing a little bit more work, getting more materials and then dealing with shipping and packaging, then making um, physical prints is also a fantastic way to make extra money with your art. So something that you can do with physical prints is if you have the ability and a printer and a way to get really high quality paper to print your art on, then you can print as the orders come in and then package it really nicely and send them to customers. There's also what's called a print on demand, which is POD, uh, print on demand sites. And a lot of them can be connected with your Etsy shop. The ones that I've looked into for printing myself is that when an order comes in for a wall piece, you forward the order onto the print on demand site. So you'd have your own profile and your Etsy listings hooked up. And then they take it from there. You pay whatever fee that you need to pay for their printing service. And then they directly send the print to the customer. So that's also a great way. I think you can make more money that way because you're actually sending someone a physical print. I used to sell only physical products and I did that for about six months. And I, I was making consistent money and that was awesome, but it was just becoming a headache to package and print things and package and print things when my main goal was creating and it was kind of getting out of the way of what I wanted to do. So with digital products, I feel that I can spend more time creating things, listing them, and then that's done. And then I can move on to the next things that I want to make. So that, I mean, that's with my clip art and digital prints. So uh, let's move on to the fourth thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, this is commissioned artwork. This is something that I've done personally through my Instagram. So I post regularly and I post consistently the artwork that I make. And um, just in like my info, I have my website where people contact me. I also have gotten messages through Instagram of people asking me if I can make um, different artwork for things. I don't really explicitly say on my posts that I'm looking for work or that this is a type of work that I can do and, you know, reach out to me if you want me to make something like this for you. I don't really put that on any of my posts, but I do post consistently and kind of talk about my goals um, 
my my interests are with children's illustrations and you know children's bookwork and so in my info i just post that um if people have any commission work that they like then they can contact me and i i really only accept work that is something that um is similar to what my goals are i would definitely recommend creating a website for your work and um, a portfolio to show off the type of work that you want so if you're if you're wanting to be uh, contacted and reach people reaching out to you to create things then put out in the world the type of work that you want so just keep creating and uh, making sure that you have different avenues for people to see your work so that they know how to contact you the fifth thing that i want to talk about is there are different websites online where you can post your tutorials and classes and make a little bit of money from showing off your process by using procreate i mean procreate is such an amazing app to use and an amazing way to start making art that people are constantly looking for new videos and tutorials of you know what they can make so if you like teaching or if you like showing kind of how you create things or if you just want to show your process of drawing or painting or whatever you do with procreate um definitely look into um skillshare um something that you can do with your your ipad while you're drawing or showing a process video or tutorial in Procreate is make a screen record video. So you don't even have to have a camera or anything to demonstrate what you're doing. You can just do like a screen recording and then show that really quickly just to go through it one more time. The five things I went over today were portraits, clip art and patterns, digital prints or physical prints, commissioned artwork and then classes and so um, these are five ways that I think are easy to get up and running and start making money with procreate whatever avenue that you choose you know get into what interests you more so if you like drawing people maybe portraits if you like to draw lots of um, different things that maybe are under one theme uh, look into clip art and patterns um, if you like to draw and then also design I would really consider making start making like greeting cards or wall prints um, if you're good at lettering um, that's something that people love they love to print out like really beautiful uh, designs with beautiful lettering and post like hang it on their wall and um, you know commissioned artwork if you don't want to go uh, the social media route for commissioned artwork um, there are also other sites that you can post your profile and that you're able to com be commissioned for different design or art jobs um, for example upwork is a great platform for freelancers so basically you can you have your profile on there and examples of your work and you can browse um, the requests from different people. So they don't request you directly unless they've kind of found you. But usually what people do is they post the work that they're looking for, for the project that they are needing a freelancer for. And then you can ask to be considered for that job. And then I think maybe send like a little message and some examples depending on what they're asking to look at. And so that's actually a different way that I've made money with commissioned artwork or freelance art. And then the last one we talked about was classes and YouTube. So if you like to teach and or you just want to show how you make things, that's a great way to sell or make money using Procreate as well. Okay, so those were the five things and I hope that they were helpful and that it kind of gave you more ideas of how you can sell your artwork that you make with Procreate. There are 
I'm sure tons of ways beyond this. These are just ways that I wanted to talk about because they are things that I've done personally. So I do want to make more videos about kind of the digital prints that I make and going into clip art and patterns because I know that is a really popular one. So um, make sure to leave a comment below if you'd like me to talk more about those things. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thank you.